Truck driving Mylan here. I'm making candles. Uh, here's a four pound melting pot. I'm going to be using that to melt the wax. You always melt your wax in another pot with water so you don't scald the wax. So there are two pound blocks inside the container. This is an eight inch colonial taper mold from Candle Wick. And uh, I have pre cut wick. For the candle mold and this is a loop turner for installing the wick in the mold you place the loop turner through the bottom of the mold so it comes out the other end take your wick Loop it over the end of the hook, pull it through, this is actually the top of the mold on this end, this is the bottom, take a bobby pin and lock it in. I usually go to the second bump on the bobby pin, center the pin, so your wick is centered inside the mold. I have a temporary mold holder made out of a cardboard box. Loop your uh, wick down through the hole and secure your mold in there. You want to make sure it's level for when you do your pour, that the wax don't run out off one side. And we just wait for our wax to melt to about 145 or 146 degrees and pour it in. Okay, my wax is hovering uh, about 147 degrees. For those of you who want to know, might want to know what a loop turner is, uh, I picked this up at Joanne Fabrics. And the kind of wick I'm using is 4 uh 8 ounce roll of wick. It contains about a thousand feet of wick. And my molds are all ready to pour. The wax will start to shrink in the mold as it starts to cool down. You leave a little wick out to pull the candle out of the mold. Once the mold is uh, cured, it takes about 45 minutes for this mold to uh, cool down. And I'll show you how to remove the molds, uh, or candles out of the molds once uh, the candles have uh, hardened up. After a few minutes of uh, pouring, you'll notice the beeswax starts to shrink in the mold. You'll have to top it off with a little more wax. Uh, these are polyurethane molds. They do not require any mold release spray. They pop. Okay, it's been a little over 45 minutes. We're talking about the self-waking candle. You see, I measured out for enough for four pours. The little leftover at the top that we had our bobby pin set on is what we removed the candle from pull the candle out with, give a couple rolls on the mold to loosen up the candle, give it a twist, grab your wick and your candle comes right out. And that's the self wicking, it pulls the wick out with it as you remove the candle, reset your bobby pin, trim the end of your candle, the end's a little goobered up. All we do is uh, roll it over, take the leftovers, pour it in our, put it back in our pouring pot. Sometimes you might have a little void left over from the shrinkage, and I don't know exactly why it causes it. If the wick sucks up uh, some of the melted wax, or if it's just the nature of beeswax. But there you go, there's a completed candle made of beeswax. Thanks for watching.
you want to lay your candles out on a flat surface to allow them to finish cooling down for a couple hours I usually give them a little roll on the counter make sure they're nice and uh, straight and uh, once they've cooled down you're good to go one last tip uh, pour your excess wax into a mold and when you're ready to use it pop it in your freezer for about 20 minutes and it'll pop right out of your mold and also if you get any wax splatter on your stove or on your floor use WD-40 it'll dissolve the wax real quick and uh, then go out wipe up with glass cleaner afterwards to, to get rid of the WD-40 and here's the base former that I told you I'd show you in, later in the video here's the candle base you heat, heat it up work it down and now the candles reshaped to fit into a smaller holder and here's the completed candles all reformed on the bottom occasionally uh, one might have a little void from when the, when you were pouring the wax after it comes out of the former just give it a little twist on a wax based uh, circular and when you're done with your base former it is hot 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 grab it with some tongs drain the wax out and set it on like a hot plate or something like that to let it cool down and then take your res residual wax from uh, reforming and pour it into one of your uh, molds